Hello, this is Pablo Acosta from Prescient. In this video, I would like to take a deep dive on the uh, exact node of uh, Prism Designer and Node Red. Uh, so here we are in Designer, the premier data ops and uh, IoT uh, platform. And you see here the device sidebar on the right. And so for the, where we have all the devices that we have connected and they can deploy to with one click. But uh, for this video, let me just look at the uh, debug sidebar where we'll, um, we'll see the output of uh, the exec node. So what does the exec node do? Um, it essentially allows you to execute a shell command uh, in uh, Linux that would be usually bash. In uh, Windows, it would be command.exe or uh, or PowerShell, uh, depending <clears throat> how the system is configured. And in general, you can uh, essentially type in the command that you want here, or you can send it uh, in the message.payload and uh, either directly uh, execute the full command and message.payload, or if you have some general command, you can append uh, to what you've written here. For example, if I type ls, and then uh, maybe I can uh, have some switches uh, come in in the payload. Uh, so let's just uh, take a um, a quick uh, interactive uh, tour of the node. So the node has three outputs, which corresponds to the usual outputs um, or the usual things that a, a shell command returns. Standard output where most of the uh, of the output uh, non error output of a command should go if it's a well-behaved uh, command. If there are any error or error text, it should go to standard error, which is the second output of the node. And the return code goes to the third uh, output. And that return code, if the command was successful, would be zero and it would be non-zero if the command um, did not execute correctly or successfully, I should say. Uh, and some uh, utilities provide some information based on that non-zero code, but in general, I think it's safe to say that zero successful, not zero, not successful. Um, so let's just type in some commands. For example, um, here we have the um, uh, the prompt into uh, prompt input uh, node, uh, which allows me to very quickly type in a command. Let's just say echo hello. And so we see that the standard output was hello, which is just the command, the, the echo, the text, the string of uh, text that we sh uh, gave to the echo command and the code is zero, so return successfully. So, um, sorry, just to show that uh, standard error works, just say echo, uh, this is an error, and let's uh, send it to standard error. And now we see that the text went to standard error. Or uh, we can do the same if we just type a command that does not exist. You'll see that you you get a, the message from the shell, so in this case, bash, that says this command does not exist, or it's not found. And the code in this case is non-zero, 127. Again, I won't get hung up on the, on the actual number. Uh, it's an important thing is that it's not zero. Now, one thing that um, you, you always have to be mindful of is what happens if, if the command hangs or if it takes way longer than one would anticipate. So uh, the timeout option here is, uh, is one way to prevent that from happening. And in this case, I have it set it to five seconds. So uh, if the command is it takes longer than five seconds, it sh should be killed. So let me just say wait for, uh, sorry, not wait, sleep for 10 seconds. And so after five seconds, um, the exec node should kill this uh, process. And there you go. It's killed. Uh, you get a null. And this is important. There's a null, not a zero. So if you want to check for time for timeouts, you should check for a null code, not zero.
Uh, and here you say that the command failed because it, it was killed. Now, one thing to be mindful of is that if the command is an ex is a pseudo command or, or an, a command that has been executed with uh, somehow with um, root privileges or with privileges that the node read process or the designer process that does not have, this time out won't work because it, it, it does not have enough privileges to kill a, um, a process that had a higher privileges than than the designer or node read process itself. So just uh, one thing to note. Um, all right, so that's kind of a, a basic usage. Let's move on to something um, that let's say the command that we have recorded is ls um, the directory te out of my home directory. And we, here we have an additional does g uh, switch, which essentially for the ls command, which lists files, it will omit the group um, in the output. And um, I, I'm appending whatever uh, I'm going to uh, type in here to that all that. So let's just do dash n to, uh, instead of showing the the user name, it will show the, the user ID. So let's see what happens. And you get here, as I said, no group um, ID and then the user ID instead of the um, username that proves that the dash n uh, worked and the dash g also worked and both were um, added to the command that was hard coded in, in different ways. One is to add in using the extra options and one is using the uh, the payload message, so payload. Now, up to now, all of these commands that I executed have been executed with the output of type when the command is complete or exec mode. What this means is that both standard output or standard error and or the return code are going to return, I mean, you're going to get an output there when the command is completed, has finished. Now, this is something to be mindful of because, for example, if I just have a ping command, which I have here, let's just say I'm pinging um, 8888, which is uh, Google's, one of Google's DNS, which is current, not guaranteed, but you know, it's, it's a good uh, IP to ping because it's mostly up all the time. Now, if you know anything about the ping command, it will continuously ping an IP and, and tell you what the uh, delay was to get packets back from it, but it will it will never end. It will never stop, uh, at least in, in the standard version of ping. So if I have the exec command configure in exec mode so that it outputs uh, center out, center error, and the return code when the command completes, it will never ever finish. As you can see, I, I get nothing. Now, one interesting thing is that this um, the status of the exec gives you the uh, process ID, that's PID, 2683. So it's important because we can use that to kill the command. Uh, so here you, we send the signal uh, sick kill. I think the standard one is sick term, but in this case, I want to make sure that it gets killed. So I'm going to send the, uh, the kill signal sick kill. And here I'm sending um, in message PID, I'm going to send the, the PID, uh, the process ID of the process I want to kill as a number. So in this case, uh, the status is handy because it read and the PID is 2683. So if the PID 2683 and boom, it, it killed it, which is good. It's demonstrating uh, another feature of this exec node, but as you can see, this is the the uh, output of the uh, ping command, which was going on and on and on and on. So how can you execute the ping command as an example and still get output before the command finishes, which in this case it will never finish, but let's just say that you want to have output as the command is progressing. Well, for that, 
you use the, instead of using exact mark mode, use a spawn mode. What this means is that uh, both standard output and standard error are going to be receiving messages. These, the, these outputs are going to produce messages as the command produces them. It's almost like if you're in a, in a terminal window and, and you see the output, even though the command has not finished. So if we do the same, uh, execute the same command, now you'll see that the standard output is producing messages, lines of, of the pin command as they're uh, being produced by, by the shell command. Note, however, that you have not gotten a return code, meaning that the, the command has not finished. So you eventually have to kill it. And in this case, because it's a thing uh, from my particular setup requires sudo, the timeout does not work. So I'm going to kill it again. 2723 is the PID. And it got killed. So, um, what to do if if you actually want to get some output and of the pin command, but still uh, have a return code or essentially have the command finish? Well, in this case, you it's it's very particular and very specific to whatever command you're using. In the case of the pin command, if you use the the deadline and the count options, um, then it will finish. So the deadline in this particular case, deadline uh, option dash w work for five seconds and, and uh, or a count of one. So if it will send one request, it receives one request before five seconds, it will stop, it will return. Um, in this case, I can use exec mode because hopefully the command will will return if, if, the, um, if the site is up. So in this case, I should see the ping command pinged once, returned, here's all the packet information and a code of zero, a return code of zero, which means that the command finished successfully. Uh, so just to be aware of the two modes then, um, exact mode and smart spawn mode, depending on when, uh, what type of uh, command and output is, is um, sorry, what that command is being executed and Usually, um, if it, the command does not require um, pseudo privileges, the timeout is, is one way to uh, to have it terminate. Otherwise, you have to put a, a delay and set, send a kill signal like I shown here um, so that it finishes after um, a, a user-defined uh, period. But that's um, an in-depth uh, look at the exec mode, which is very handy uh, to augment the uh, native capabilities of Prison Designer and Node Red. Hope this helps. Uh, let me know if anything's uh, unclear or if you want uh, any other node to be um, to take a deep dive on any other node in the comments. And uh, with that, uh, till next time. Thank you.